What's up guys, it's Mal back with another tutorial. This week I completed a project using VoiceFlow, Twilio, Make, and Google Sheets. It was an SMS bot that when provided with the right password would release the location of a secret venue for an exclusive techno event. This was super exciting for me personally because techno is my favorite genre and it was for one of my favorite DJs who's actually from my hometown who may or may not be one of my best friends, a little shameless plug. I'm going to show you the demo first and then we're going to run through how I configured the conversation in VoiceFlow, how I set up the email authentication using Make and Google Sheets. What's not included today is how I set up in Twilio. If you want to see that, please let me know and I'll do a more detailed tutorial on setting up SMS chatbots period and how to buy a number, how to buy additional numbers, how much text costs and all of that jazz. So let's get started. Okay, so of course the first thing we want to do is say hello. And then we get the welcome message asking us for our email. We're gonna type in our email. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is an email that has already been redeemed. And so you'll see that's the message we get. You get sent back to the main menu because we want you to try another email. So I'm gonna go ahead and try an email that is registered, but hasn't been redeemed yet. So it says, great, thanks for registering. What's the password? Then you put in the correct password. I'll show you what it looks like when the password isn't correct. And then it sends you all the information for the location and the pictures. Uh, again, I think I mentioned earlier that there was a bit of a delay. That was the delay there. So we're going to go ahead, say hello again. I was still on caps lock. Uh, and then we're going to do a password that is not registered, or sorry, an email that is not registered. So you can see here, you get all of those messages about wanting to pre-register for next time. So we're going to have to grab your first name and then we have all our information now. So we're going to ask for the password, but this time I'm going to give it the wrong password. You're going to see it just says, sorry, that's not the password. I also realized after filming that I didn't show you what the sheets look like. So I'll show you what it looks like when the password gets redeemed and it goes from false to true and uh, it puts in the date that it was redeemed. And then I'll also show you what it looks like when the unregistered email now gets registered with their name, email, and also the date again. So we're going to do just a really quick run through of this. We're not going to go too into detail, but if you guys have any feedback about my tutorials and you think that they, it would be more beneficial to go deeper into detail or like, you know, have these spread out a bit because like this makes sense to me, but it might not make sense to you guys and be really hard to follow. So let me know. But yeah, so we start off here, as you saw, asking for the emails, we capture and store the email. Uh, and then I check the format. I use regex, which might be a little scary, but essentially I just look for letters or numbers, an at symbol, uh, letters or numbers, a period, and at least two letters. So it's usually, you know, like name at domain dot co or dot com. Like, I don't really know of anything that ends in only one letter. Um, I don't know. Anyone let me know if there is. I'm not aware, but so I have it set as two. And uh, if you've seen my other tutorials, you know, I like to debug a lot, um, but I don't use that in the normal flow. So check if the email is valid. And then I get today's date because this is where I grab the date to pass through when the person was registered or when the password was redeemed. And then this is where we check if the email exists. So we're going to go through the make side as well and what it looks like, but you know that we pass through the email today's date. And then we get back if they were already pre-registered and uh, we get when the password, or sorry, not when, but if the password is redeemed. If the email is found, we check if it's redeemed and we let them know that you can only have one password or redemption per email. If it was not redeemed, then we would ask for the password. Um, but backing up again, if the email was not found, we would say, you know, we can't find that email, so you can try another one. Otherwise, we're going to register you first. They wanted me to add a note. Um, you need to pre-register for the events. We've noted your email and will allow it this time. That is the reason why I wanted to keep things on a separate sheet and not just like append the pre-registered emails list with the new emails because next time this happens we will be using that list and letting the person know like you didn't pre-register last time so like we're not going to give you the password and of course like there's going to be ways around this but that's just how we're going to at least try our best to grab their name and then this is where we update with the name email and today's date again and then we ask for the password oh if the password is correct then we end up giving them all of the details if it's not they only had that one chance but again like they could theoretically just go back to the beginning of uh the loop and try again 
Um, we're not being super strict here. I'm sure there's like uh, other stuff we could do to try to be extremely strict, but you know, we didn't want to go that crazy. So, you know, this is kind of all of the security measures we have in place, letting them know where it was and we were going to send some photos. Sometimes pictures send a little bit late. So we just did want to note that the pictures will send in a moment. Let's go through what it looks like in make a custom webhook. We have our webhook here, of course, this is where we get the address, and then this is where we search the rows. So this is right now just in a testing doc because I wanted to film for the demo, but of course it would be in a regular one, or like the actual one where I got him to put all the emails in. And so, um, contains headers, and so all we wanted to do was just check if the email exists. We only need one row because we only need, sometimes people will register multiple times. We don't need all of them. We just need one. We're going to ignore duplicates. Again, we're not being like very strict on like security measures or really data integrity. I suppose there was a bunch of duplicates and we didn't really do anything about it. Anyway, so this is how you format the status back from the web, web hook. But if it was found, it would have returned to one. If the email wasn't there, it would have returned to zero. So yeah, and then a true or false if the password was redeemed or not. If they are registered, so if the email exists, then I want the password redeemed to become true and I want to know the date that they redeemed it. This one is a lot more simple. Here we just have two steps. Again, we just have the webhook. And then in Google Sheets, this is where if they needed to be pre-registered because or they weren't already pre-registered, so again, I want to save it in a separate sheet because we're going to need these emails separate for future, um, I don't know, uses of this bot, I guess. So again, yes, the table contains headers and we want to add their name, their email, and again, today's date. So honestly, it's as simple as that. We don't have anything else to it. If you guys have any questions or you have any constructive feedback, I'm always open to feedback. So please let me know and thanks for watching. Thanks again for watching another tutorial. As always, if you guys have any questions, please let me know on any of my socials. You can reach out on Twitter, email, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever you want. And I am happy to try to help you out as much as I can. See you in the next one.